course, as the red tide slurry whistles down through the intestinal tract, it's not gentle with the gut wall that's transporting it, of course, uh, and all the red tide marauders there uh, cause inflammation of the gut wall, and that's going to uh, set off uh, Crohn's disease and colitis. Uh, and uh, yeah, you get these folks on a plant-based diet, have them cut back their meat eating to a little bit once or twice a month. And you get these prolonged remissions. It really is a, is a fundamental, is the first step in, in uh, gaining control over inflammatory bowel disease. Uh, here are people on the semi-vegetarian diet. To, these are days, you know, two years afterwards, uh, they stayed in remission. The asthmatic folks, show me the science. The asthmatic folks wheeze much less on a diet uh, of whole plant food, especially if you pull out the dairy, notorious for making asthma worse. Uh, the folks with the eczema and the psoriasis notice their skin off begins to clear and uh, there are strategies to uh, uh, to uh, accelerate that. Show me the science. I urge you to get this wonderful book, Plant-Based Nutrition and Clinical Practice, uh, and, and half the book uh, is scientific citations and documentation, just an excellent work. And if you'd like to know more about how uh, plant-based medicine and lifestyle medicine is used in practice, uh, I urge you to get Dr. Strive Stancic's book, What's Missing from Medicine, and she'll talk about how uh, the, these uh, strategies can actually be implemented to, uh, uh, to the benefit of both patients and their physicians. And yet, most doctors, it's embarrassing. That's why I'm doing Moving Medicine Forward, to get this message into the minds and heads and hearts of these young doctors because patients say, might not know anything about nutrition. He scoffs and wishes me out of the room. And I, as soon as I mention my diet, he rolls his eyes and says, it doesn't make any difference. Why is this? We're doctors were not taught about nutrition. It's not respected as a science. It's a sissy science. And the dietitian gives you give him a diet. Don't bother me. I'm up in the operating do room doing real medicine. But what are you doing in that operating room, doctor? You're dealing with the infections and the infarctions and the amputations from what your patients are eating. You're all dealing with nutrition-based diseases that could be largely reversed in the outpatient clinic with a good plant-based dietitian. Plus the docs are eating the same burgers and pizzas in the hospital cafeteria and the restaurants. It's, it's a tough sell. And as a result, it's embarrassing. My profession, uh, uh, it's embarrassing to me. The, uh, the, the, the complete ignorance that gets passed down from generation to generation uh, of young graduating physicians when it comes to the effect of their patient diet on the diseases they're spending their careers treating. Uh, we don't want to hear about it. We don't want to think about it. And as a result, real patients are dying on real operating tables from procedures they may not need that could be reversed with a whole food plant-based diet. When I asked, I said, do you ever talk to your patients about nutrition? They said, listen, I don't know what to tell them. I don't, I've never been trained. I don't get paid to do this counseling. I don't have time to do this counseling. Don't bother me. This is not in my wheelhouse. Well, the good news we're trying to get across, you don't have to do the counseling, doctor. There are trained professionals who are more than happy to do this counseling for you. Every city I'm in, I do a search for plant-based dietitians, and the screen fills up with them. And, uh, and it works beautifully for telemedicine consultations. There's lots of nurses now leaving hospital medicine. They can be great coaches. Um, this is uh, eminently available uh, to uh, patients anywhere. You don't have to be in the same city uh, to take advantage of these plant-based counselors. Well, people are not going to change what they eat. Yes, they will. You know, they, they're sick and tired of being sick and tired. My patient, Ken, uh, was 25 pounds overweight on medicines for diabetes and high blood pressure. 12 weeks on a plant-based diet, lost um, 20 pounds off his meds. Uh, people can change, and they do change. Uh, he used my four-page handout, which I recommend. So the concept of disease reversal is a hopeful one. It's becoming well-established. In fact, there's now an international journal of disease reversal and prevention. It's a free journal. I urge health professionals, anybody you want, to uh, subscribe to it, learn about how these processes are happening. And progress is starting to be made. Here's Wayne State University putting a mandatory course in, in plant-based nutrition for all first year medical students. Good for you, Wayne State. And I hope other schools start, start 
uh, using that as an example. If you want to learn about it, I urge my physicians to go to the website of the University of Winchester and take their six-week course in online plant-based nutrition. Superb course. I took it and learned a ton. Uh, go to PCRM, Physician Committee for Responsible Medicine, download their nutrition guide onto your cell phone. So if you're faced with a patient with colitis or Crohn's, you'll, uh, you'll know what food they ought to be eating. You can make a career out of this. Here are my colleagues at uh, Rochester Lifestyle Medicine uh, who uh, uh, do such a great job, at, with, especially with their Jumpstart program, uh, helping people healthy up their diet. I urge people to join the Plantrition Project. I'm almost at the end. We'll take questions just in a minute. Um, uh, the plant-based nutrition uh, can be a conference can be attended in person or online. I urge people to take advantage of it as well as joining the American College of Lifestyle Medicine and international students can join the uh, Physicians Association for Nutrition. If you're looking for a plant-based doctor, you can find one, a lifestyle doc who advocates plant-based medicine at Love Life Telehealth. Uh, so if you're looking for a plant-based doc, uh, here's the place to look. So we're at the end. Moving Medicine Forward is our nonprofit initiative. Uh, and I'm going to medical school after medical school in person or by Zoom, hospital after clinic, giving the message that plant-based nutrition can help reverse chronic disease. And it is, it is career shaping. No matter what special day they are in, they can benefit by using, by knowing about and instituting plant-based nutrition for their patients and themselves. So that's the science behind disease reversal through plant-based nutrition. I hope some of it was meaningful and useful to you. Uh, and with that, I will open the floor for questions. Uh, and uh, I will, I think that automatically stop the share. <laughs>